What's up, sons? It's Blind Rodden with Sound of Tech once again, and today we're gonna have a quick video on how to update to the latest drivers on Hive OS. If you click into the test bench here right now, we have an RTX 4070 Super in here, and the device is malfunctioning. This is on the beta BIOS for Hive OS, which is gonna have the 6.1 kernel. In the stable version, you will see basically it pop up as an NVIDIA device, but just a generic one. And so I was trying this. This version as well unfortunately we just need to update the drivers even further currently you can see here that it's in 5 dot or 525.125.06 and if we were to just shell into it real quick and log in the traditional method of updating the driver which is the nvidia dash driver dash update option and press enter the driver list is going to only go up to the 535.14.05. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that because that's not going to be the driver that we need. Moving over to the NVIDIA website, you can see here that the latest version is 550.40.07. This is going to give us basically the latest update for the Super Series coming from NVIDIA, which is what we want to get installed. Hopefully... Hive will get this fixed and added into the repository for the easy updates, but we're going to have to do a workaround. So as you guys know, we can find the IP address here. We cannot use shell for it. So we're going to highlight it and click right click and say copy. We're going to utilize a tool called putty. I'll leave a link to the download down in the description below. We're going to paste that IP address into the host name option and then we're going to click open and basically it will pop in just as if we were doing the shell in the web and we're going to type in user for the username. One would be for the default. If you have changed the password, you can go under your settings tab under the rig and find the password there if you update it to that in particular, or if you have one set that you have memorized. Press enter to enter your password, and now we see a much similar screen to what we did before. So here what we're going to need to do is stop the miner first. So miner stop for that command, right? And then we're going to need to kill the desktop environment so we're going to do kill all x in it and press enter and then we are going to basically run in it three all the commands will be down in the description below as well as over on sonofatech.locals.com we're going to press enter there and then we're going to make a temp directory so mkdir forward slash temp and then we're going to change directory into the Hive drivers pack. So change directory and make sure you are root. You should be if you logged in with the user. But we're going to do cd and then forward slash Hive dash drivers dash pack. And then forward slash press enter. If you run an ls here, you can see that we have that driver right there. But that is the 535 and we need the later driver. So to do that, there's a couple ways. I've actually already kind of created a notepad plus plus here with it in here to make it easier. All of my guides are, are a mess right now. And what you can see here is that we're going to download this. Now, a way you can get this is by going to the driver site on NVIDIA, right clicking and saying copy link address. But then you'll need to go to a notepad, right? And if you paste it in here, what you'll notice is we want to get it directly from the US NVIDIA downloads. So we actually just want the last portion of this URL. We don't want the whole thing. So you would basically copy to the xfree86 and then all the, after the basically after the us.download.nvidia.com, you would paste that into here. So that's where you would get it. And then the por forward portion of that would be the download. So then you'll just highlight, right click and say copy. That's going to be our wget command that we're going to run here. We're going to right click into the putty console, which will paste it for us and press enter. And then it will, it's redirecting the log. Don't worry about that. Once it's done, it'll kind of continue on and then we can move from there. So once it's complete, we're going to type an ls command to confirm that it did actually get downloaded. And you can see here we have the Linux 
x86-550.40.07.run. And we need to actually make that executable. To make it executable, I'm going to clear this console to make it easier to read. We're going to run a chmod command. And we're going to do the plus sign and then X. That says add executable permissions for everybody for this file. Now, and a quick way to get the file name is to do the LS and then do the chmod plus X. And then we can highlight the file that we want to make executable. Try not to leave a space on either end and right click it. And that will actually input it into the command line for us. So we don't have to type the whole thing out. We're going to press enter. Now it is important because Hive does in some cases restart that environment, the X in it environment. So we are going to run kill all X in it one more time just to make sure. But obviously here it says no process is found. So it didn't restart it just for peace of mind. We're going to make sure it stopped. We're going to do a period in forward slash. That's going to say execute this, this file or this executable, right? And I'll actually show you one more thing here real quick. If we do another LS command, you can see that the color has changed to the green and that means that it is executable. So now we'll do the, the dot forward slash and say basically run this file, right click and then press enter and then it will begin to install the latest NVIDIA drivers. It's going to basically give us a bunch of warnings. We can click through most, most of them. Make sure we say to continue installation, press OK, continue installation, and then it will build out the kernel modules here. It will ask us if we want the 32-bit compatibility libraries, and we do, so I'm going to say yes. It's then going to ask if we would like to register the kernel mo module sources with DKMS. This will allow it to automatically build a new module if your kernel changes later. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And that will prevent us from having any issues when updating Hive later on. It will say unable to determine the path to install blah blah blah. Um, and you can just say OK. Uh, this does mean that eventually what we'll need to do is run a couple things afterwards. We'll cover that in just a second. I don't actually, I'm not sure you actually have to in this particular scenario. All right, now it's going to ask if we would like to automatically update our X configuration file so that the NVIDIA X drive will be used when you restart. And that's what we want, right? So we're going to say yes. And then it's going to say that it's been updated successfully. So it does look like it took care of it for us. So we won't need any additional steps there. And then it recommends a reboot, which we will follow. Um, we don't need to do sudo because we're already in as root. So we'll just do the reboot dash F command to force it. And then we'll just wait until it comes back up. Usually what will happen is the, the hive or the putty session will close on us automatically, but now it's just a waiting game. See it booting up into there. Definitely still some issues with the beta build on Hive OS with its compatibility with bio, various bio settings, it appears. All right, so now that we're rebooted, let's go ahead and refresh our Hive OS page. And you can see here now that we have the RTX 4070 Super listed. So congratulations, you now have that functioning. The problem can be that we need to basically do a couple more set steps within PuTTY to make sure that we can control the fan speed, etc. Now, in most cases, that won't be necessary, um, but in some it will, right? So... Uh, it really depends, but at the very end of the day, at least doing a sudo apt get update and apt get install NVIDIA settings will go ahead and update that for you. It really depends on how far away the latest driver is from the previous driver that was installed in my experience, because in some cases, those XORG tools, all the NVIDIA tools will function, um, as well. So. There's a couple ways we can also test that. Like if we went into putty and then we log back in, which I don't even think we need to do putty anymore. To be fair, we can just go ahead and click here. Log in. I believe we can do NVIDIA dash info. 
as long as everything is coming up okay but we have unknown errors so it does look like we'll need to go ahead and do a quick update so we will do the app get update and install nvidia settings yes that is compounded by the fact that yes it appears that we never actually started mining uh, ethereum classic which we should have at this point so there's definitely errors going on we'll do the update to get that completed as well let's make sure that flight sheet's a good flight sheet too just to verify it's on g minor i'm going to put it on uh, a minor that was a little bit more reliable um bz minor builds the cuda at the beginning so that would probably work all right so that can take some time once it's completed i will go ahead and refresh over here and go to our overview make sure we're on the latest driver i am going to run the nvidia info again we do have some errors so let's go ahead and do another reboot Looks like we got full detection now within BZ Miner, so that's good. 